Um, I, I want to state that the uh, 2020 election has come and gone uh, since you and I met and last, and the, uh, the networks have officially called Joe Biden as the president-elect, though it has not been certified by the Electoral College, but it appears that he's crossed the 270 threshold. And you're going to hear a lot from me uh, that will be in many ways condemning of Joe Biden, condemning of Camelback, Ain't Black, Harris. You're going to hear many statements and have heard over the years of my many statements condemning uh, Donald Trump, as God has named him Tribulation Trump, which is a, a dastardly name given by God saying that Donald Trump is the trigger of the tribulation. But I want you to understand something, that I'm not for either one of these. I, I don't support either one of them. And if you're catching me on a day where it seems like I'm laying heavily in on Trump and not laying heavily in on Biden, then somehow or another I'm for one or the other. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not an independent. I'm the Lord's servant. I want you to know that. Uh, so please, let's be clear about what we can be clear about, William James. Uh, I'm not for either of these, and I'm going to be saying truth about all of them until the cows come home or Jesus comes first. Uh, but I want you to know that because some of you that are with me may think I'm somehow a Trump supporter or that I'm somehow or another have, have crossed over to a Biden supporter. Uh, got started with Those who got started with me years ago when I was speaking clearly about the long-legged Mac Daddy. I'm for neither. Let's be clear. Let me tell you something. I would rather perform an abortion on a woman who's nine months pregnant with a rusty hanger than to vote for Obama or Biden or Kamala Harris. Understand? I, I would rather do that. In fact, I would rather become, before I, before I support Biden, I'd rather become a flaming gay preacher performing rituals of of threesomes on the altar at the Outlaw World Missionary Church, that great marble pulpit and that marble floor. I would perform threesomes ritual with all males as a gay preacher. I'd rather do that than support Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or the Democrat Party. We, we, we need to understand that. You need, and, and the same thing, for Donald John Trump, Tribulation Trump. I would rather serve ice cream and ice water on a refrigerated silver platter to Hitler and Mao Zedong in hell and get no tips. I'd rather go to hell daily to serve them ice water than to give a cup of water to Tribulation Trump or in any way support him. And I'll go even further, support anybody that supports him. I'm not for either one of them. Let's be clear. Let's be clear about that. Because I, I, we got, until this whole thing, until Jesus comes back, you're going to hear me speaking truth about both of these. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I'm not for either one of them. And don't you try to suggest that I am. Just keep listening. Just keep listening. Do I need to repeat myself? that I'd rather perform an abortion as much as I'm against it with a rusty hanger on a woman nine months pregnant before I would give any kind of consent to Biden, Kamala Harris, Tribulation Trump, or Snake Eyes Mike Pence. Understand. Understand. I'd rather become a flaming gay preacher prissing around on the pulpit doing threesome butt naked before congregation before I stand up for Trump or support Biden. Be clear, be clear, be clear. I serve ice water and ice cream in hell before I support the Democrat Party. Or even I would rather do that then march on a summer breeze day with Black Lives Matter or any of the other organizations. I'm not for them. Let's be clear about what we can be clear about. So I got to work now. I got to work. Every day I'm going to get up 
And I'm going to have something to say from the Lord about the political situation that we're in. We're in the tribulation. That's what we're in. We're in the tribulation. And Donald Trump is the trigger of it. His, what he's going to do going forward, because his, his con cause and confusion, division, destruction ain't over with yet. No, it ain't over with yet. And I'm going to be calling the shots the way I see them. I just want you to be clear. I'm for neither one. I would rather do the, perform the abortion. I would rather be a gay preacher. <laughs> I would rather serve ice cream in hell before I would give a cent to either of them. I'm James Avon Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.